watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we've got another tortoise shell knife I want to show you and I'm pretty excited about this one. This one's not a pattern that I've ever reviewed or even owned before. Uh, the tortoise shell series is from Rough Rider. You get the imitation acrylic tortoise shell handles with the black underliners and you get this little tortoise shell shield that we'll see in a moment. On the back of the box, we've got always high quality handmade pocket knives, uh, country of origin is China, cancer warning, and uh, there's your website. Model number here is RR2435, got a magnetic style closed box with the bag that holds the knife, felt liner, and the logo at the top. So there's your packaging. And let's take a look at the knife. We've got a closed length of 3 and 13 sixteenths, just over 3 and 3 quarter inches. There's a good look at that tortoise shell. Now I reviewed the half hawk and it was a lot darker than this, so I'm nice to see that uh, you do get some of the lighter transparent areas of the handle on this side, on the front side, and then on the pile side you get a little more of that but not too bad looks pretty good on both sides no real issues with any of the fit or finish of the handle don't really feel any stepping or anything I just feel the thread on the the bolster so we've got nickel silver bolsters and nickel silver pins holding this guy together and then we've got the nickel silver shield and the one problem, I guess, is there's a little bit of stepping there on the inside part. I can catch my finger on that on the inside part of the shell. The rest of it seems pretty smooth over here on this side. It's just a little more recessed than it needed to be to fit flush. But uh, otherwise, the handle looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the springs. So you've got the brass liners and... Uh, the main blade rides on the two springs and then the secondary blades have the just the individual spring to themselves. And I'm not seeing any gaps here. A um, little bit of a split down the middle but I kind of almost expect that from a Whittler. Very very minor and it's consistent across the whole length of the knife so looks pretty good. A little bit of a recess, recess spring here in the closed position. I can just kind of feel the bolster edges on that on the edge here so it's not 100 percent flush but we'll take a look at the top down view here you can see how that middle blade rides between the two second blade blades on the outside and uh, let's examine that main blade so the nail nick is up here you have a half stop satin finish on the blade match strike pull and the swedging Look at your edge. Not too terribly bad on that side. Maybe not quite so good on this side. A little narrow down here. Right in here, it gets kind of narrow. But I have tested the blade sharpness and it appears to be pretty good. Get a really good pull on it. I'd say it's probably about an eight to eight and a half. Pretty strong pull with the two springs operating that. You can look at the thickness of the the tang there it rides on the the two springs and then kind of tapers down a second time all the way down through the swedge that's pretty typical of whittlers you'll see that on larger whittlers but uh, you get the tang stamp there with the back to back r and then the rough rider font below it on this side you get the 440B stainless mark, I'll let you know it's 440B stainless steel, so a little bit of an upgrade over the 440A. And then your model number there is RR2425 and China below it, of course the country of origin. But if we give this a little paper test, let's see if we can find a piece of paper here. It does a pretty good job. No issues really cutting. So even though it's not perfectly even, it, it does just cut decently, but it could be improved upon for sure. 
So it feels like a, a flat grind. I'm not really feeling the hollow there, but it almost kind of looks like it may be just very slight hollow grind. If it is, it's very, very mild. So nice and slicey and good pull. And the half stop is nice to have on a, on a knife with a pull this strong, but you can hear that lock up. Very good, solid lockup. A very beefy knife. And then if we look at the secondary blades, we've got the sheep's foot over on this side, on the pile side. Match strike pull, swedging, satin finish. Again, the back-to-back -back R tank stamp with the font below it. So if we can get a good look at the blade edge. A little thin, maybe a little thin, but looks like it's thin on both sides. But that's a nice looking chief's foot, even with the swedge, not bad. Got a little body to it, but not real long either. Let's take a look at the length of it. So full to the tang, not even two inches long. We're looking at uh, about one and seven eighths. And then a cutting edge about one and a half. Good pull on this one, I'd say about a six and a half. Pretty solid. Locks up really well. Comfortable in that grip position. Even with that main blade, you kind of put your finger down here, kind of a natural place to put it. And I'm getting four fingers on it. Nice. Definitely use that sheep's foot. The handle's long enough for that. So now let's take a look at the uh, the little spear point or pin blade if you'd like. Match right pull again. This one's got a swedge as well. Uh, look at the tang stamp. Again, just the same one. Back to back R. That font below it. Again, these are 440B stainless steel blades. Really thin edge on that. I would expect a little more, but no, it's very, very thin. Very little, very little material removed to make the edge. So, feel sharp. Half stops again on this, and this side, oh, I'd say that's about a six. A little, probably the lightest of the three. But no problem opening it. Still a good, comfortable blade to use. Much like the other one. Because the top profile is just that second, the, the main blade, so you don't feel the secondary blade, but it's tucked in below. As you can see, that doesn't protrude to top the main blade, really. So pretty much the same comfortability as the other secondary blade. Can just kind of push it down, but it takes some effort. This is going to be a really good work knife for anybody who might use it for that purpose. A little thick, you know, not going to be the thinnest knife. You can see there's a little bit of a swell to the handle there. does protrude out and it also has a little bit of a swell up and down as well. It is a really nice knife. I'd like to see this in a, in a natural natural uh, you know bone material that would be fantastic. I've not seen this knife offered by Rough Rider before. I I mean I could be wrong about that. It's probably not a knife that I've really uh, would have looked for so there's a real good chance I have missed on this pattern before or not seen one but I don't think they've made it for quite a while if they have made it before. Just a really interesting uh, pattern. Climbing. Very happy that I ended up picking this one up. Um, again, nice size there. Close to three and three quarter inches, which I feel is ideal. Just slightly over the three and thirteen sixteenths. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool knife. And, uh, let's see what the price of this was. All right, so this one goes for $14.99, so very affordable, $15. You get a lot of get a lot of knife for $15 on this one. So that's a pretty stout blade, that spear point. And you get a great lock up on that. Other two blades are very useful. They're, you know, they're large enough to get some work done with them and I uh, I'm really impressed with it. 
So I got to give this one a thumbs up, guys. So check this one out if you haven't already and you're interested in a Whittler. It's a, it's a pretty sweet little pattern. Looking forward to maybe getting this one again and maybe a little more uh, fancy handle material, maybe bone of some kind. So that'd be nice. But uh, that's going to do it for my review. Hope you guys liked it. Again, model number is the RR2435, the tortoiseshell Whittler. We will see you guys next time. Please do take care.